mass inspection in like in, right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah my house is being inspected this minute. Oh. Is it, is it nearly five? Nearly. nearly. Yeah, my house yeah. is being inspected right now. Well, good luck. Yeah, mm. it's very clean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If, if, Emily Love, if you're watching this, because you're not, if you don't pass this house inspection, I will gut you. <laughs> No, that was a humble bundle. That's the reason we have money. That's yeah. the, like, okay, people shit on yeah. humble all the time. Surprise, like, managed to get us in a really, really good spot with humble. I think we got, we did something crazy. We did, we got front page cups featuring with the same key art. <laughs> but the deal was, I think we were selling a four pack, yeah, yeah. which included a deluxe edition yeah. for yeah. $10. Yeah. Shit. But at the time, I think we made 50 grand that in like two days. Yeah. In that feature, yeah. and like at the time, that was an insane amount of money for us. Yeah. I think that was more money than the game had made on Steam so far yeah. Yeah. already in one in like two days. Yeah. And we were like, I think that might have been one of the reasons we moved into the arcade. So the arcade is the office we moved into in January of 2015. It's a cooperative workspace. Co-op. Yeah, it's full of cool people. No, no, no one's cool here. We're all lame. We're actually in a version of the arcade right now. We're in arcade 2.0, mm. which I am the person who mistakenly put on the map. By the way. Oh, was that you? That's me. And the old arcade was down in uh, South Bank of Melbourne. So it was really close to the city, super convenient. The rent was pretty good. Um, and it was full of, who was there at the time? When we moved in, Team Man were already there. Mighty Games was just sort of starting up. Yeah. And then Le League of Geeks were there doing our mellow. With Justin, it was good for Justin as well, because he was working for two companies at once. Yeah. So he was still doing like a day a week at our mellow. Um, yeah. So the timeline here is we launched the game in October 21st, 2014 on PC and Steam. That was yeah. on everything. And then we were like, well, let's get that console version going. It should be easy, right? And Justin had to rewrite all the networking for Xbox. Justin has to yeah. So I sort of figured I didn't have enough time to fully understand all of the code and, and rewrite it from the ground up. So I'm like, oh, I'll just take the demos and tweak them till they work. On Xbox, you could have the same account on two controllers. What? Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? You could, you could do that. Oh yeah, that was yeah, weird. You could, have, you could have the same account with four controllers. Yeah. And then the, the, the XRs for that, or the, what are they called? The, just requirement. the requirements. requirements to ship. That was Xbox requirements, yeah. You have to, you aren't allowed to let that happen. Two people cannot play on the same account at once. Mm -hmm. um, so what we were meant to do was we were meant to like show a big message and be like, okay, we had to, and then we had to kick them out and then we had to let, ask them if they wanted to sign into a different account or mm -hmm. some shit. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, fuck, this is the worst. Mm -hmm. Over Christmas that year, I went home, my dad has an Xbox and I was playing Forza. Oh. And you know what happens when you sign in? With two accounts, two controllers for the same account, it just boots you to the fucking main menu with no message. <laughs> and I'm like, so around around the same time that we moved to the arcade, um, unfortunately Hadley left the team. Yeah. Um, just kind of like creative differences, um, but you know, we, we we went our separate ways. He went on to continue games. Yeah, the whole time we were um, waiting, the first in 2014, he's still finishing mm -hmm. uni as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so it was it was just a difficult situation all of 2014 really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Hadley, Hadley Hadley went off and did other things. So it was just the three of us. We did a few events during that year. Yeah, like, we did. I, I did casual, events for sure. Like, did casual connect? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we signed up for some awards. Why did you sign up for casual connect? So that we could get a trophy, I think. It came the awards night, and then we we went to take a shuttle bus to the awards. Um, but it was like. The awards night started in peak hour traffic. So I got on the bus and it took us like an hour to travel like 15 minutes worth. So by the time I got to the venue, they were halfway through the awards. So I got in there and I walk in and then I saw, I was, I was like walking in with my friend and I'm like, oh cool, screen sheets on the projector. Um, and then everyone was like, Samurai Punk? Samurai Punk? And they're like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, hey, you just won an award. And I'm like, what the fuck? So they like they pushed me up. I'm like, oh shit! I was like, what? What's going you on? You had a backpack yeah. with you at the time. Yeah, I had a backpack on me. I was all sweaty because it's like Singapore. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? And it's like, oh, you just won an award for most or best multiplayer. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, so that's amazing. Uh, and they're like, oh yeah, before you also got most innovative. <laughs> you you won here. And I'm like, oh, what the? F so I was just like completely flabbergasted. So I just, so yeah, quickly made a impromptu speech. I'm just like. Thank you, Jesus. The best thing was the day we started Exiles, the first day of the Friday, mm. we got a 
I think Chris just texted me and he's mm. like, oh, PewDiePie did a video, the mm. for screen sheet, mm. and it has a million views already. Yeah. And I were like, was on my phone yeah. he, checking he, the Steam sales. Yeah, he already like bought a jet and everything. Yeah. And, it was and like, then it was oh, like, see you later. You have sold 2% more copies than yesterday. And I was like, how is that possible? Yeah. That t 1 million views translates to literally no sales, mm. basically. And what did you do with the jet? I had to give it back, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, that, that video translated to a lot more videos, yeah. like Markiplier, and I think Rustique were probably more inclined to do it. Rustique mm. ended up giving us three mm. videos in the end. Yeah. Um, mm. Thanks, Jack. Mm. That was, I don't know why I said that was sarcasm. Like, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So, actually, thank you for all the YouTubers who covered the game. Because um, you watched the. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Including PewDiePie. Yeah. Like, non sarcastically. <laughs> it actually really helped us in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we basically we weren't getting paid. At all we didn't pay ourselves we were paying ourselves as contractors once a year but only because we had to because film victoria yeah because we yeah. it was a small grant yeah film victoria was like okay you know because most of our money was going into market yeah and then i guess that paid off um but it was most of our money went into that paying the rent and then we would pass off like uh, like less than minimum wage once a year yeah um just so we could live mm. um because yeah. both you were living at home yeah. You hadn't moved out yet. You're still at home. I went um, from a nice salary to no. No, yeah. And um, we didn't stop paying ourselves until after the screen sheet launched on console. We, we went through certain how many times? Like 11? Xbox was like 16, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was a lot. That we was... submitted to certification. They go, the game's fucked up, fix it. Yeah. So we did that 16 times. I think we submitted pretty early on the game. We, we knew it wouldn't pass. Yeah. And then we started just going into the loop of like, okay, Xbox is in service, let's work on Sony. And then we worked on Sony and we worked on Xbox and we like alternate until eventually. I think Xbox got through first. Did yeah. it? And I don't think we had our release date approved until like two weeks before launch. Something like that. Yeah. So yeah. we like after Christmas we just came back to the office and just ground away at it. At this point I was just doing QA. I don't know if you guys And had... like the launch was just like super underwhelming. Uh, I don't know <laughs> well I don't know if you guys had like a cool moment, but like, you know, getting into this thing it's like, oh the dream is release a console game, right? Yeah. So seeing it on the like the PSN store. You wanted to go home like, and download it, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I downloaded it at midnight, so I saw it pop up and I was like, oh shit! Let me, I'm going to buy my own game. Yeah. And it was, it was cool. Yeah. I saw it there. I had that when I was on Steam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Except I already owned it. So it was like, I can't even play PC, it. Yeah. PC games. Yeah. Um, I'm a console boy at heart. I appreciate PC games, but I'm a console boy. So seeing it on there, like on the store with all these other cool games, I was like, oh fuck. Indeed. The game ultimately was successful long term, but it never achieved any sort of stable user base online. Mm. So as a result, we were always kind of fighting a losing battle, mm. trying to make, we made the online way, way better over time. Mm. We made the experience better, we made the sort of usability better, we added a lot of content, so there was a bunch of reasons to go back. We even added like the metagame progression, mm. but we never managed to like bring the audience back in and give them a reason to keep playing. Mm. We, we kept getting a lot of comments being like, wow, you guys are still updating this game even though no one's playing? Mm. The irony is a lot of people were actually playing, but most of yeah. them were playing offline. We had a yeah. huge, yeah. Yeah concurrency base that were just playing by themselves. 90% mm. of our fan base were people who just were like, oh, I play once a week or once every two weeks with my family or with my friends. Mm. Yeah, we had launched Screen Sheet, we took a little break, um, but we knew we wanted to have something to talk about at GDC. So we were like, let's do some little prototypes. And during that time, uh, we did a lot of analysis on you know popular games at the time, and like most of them were shooters, and we were making a shooter. Yeah. Uh, so I had this funny idea, which was like, oh, you know, if you're if you're a character in these video games and your only way of interacting with the world is through a gun, what would living a regular life be like? So I pitched it to those guys, and you know we all thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. Ah! Yummy. I mean, it was cool that we ended up doing VR anyway. But the reason that we started doing it in VR was because we heard that people. Were, Sony and Valve were giving away free VR headsets, so we're like, so we, we wrote the pitch so yeah. I could send off to get the headsets. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Oh my god.